In this problem, we're looking at another kind of transformation. This one is called a dilation. And unlike a reflection or a translation or a rotation, a dilation actually changes the size of something. So uh, a, a transformation of a dilation, its original and its image, they're not going to be congruent. One's going to be bigger or smaller than the other. In this problem, uh, you get to just move a slider to create the dilation. And the numbers down here on the slider are what's called the scale factor. You can think of a dilation as making something, um, making a projection of this original shape uh, bigger as you go up to scale factors, or smaller if you choose a fraction between 0 and 1. Scale factors are always positive, though. Negative scale factor doesn't make sense. So in this problem, we're doing a dilation centered at the origin with a scale factor of 3. So this line segment, we're going to make another one that is three times as big as that and three times as far away from the origin, which is the center of this. You can think about this maybe as like shining a light from the origin and um, it's going to uh, project an image uh, three times as big. The way to do this when it's centered at the origin is just to multiply the coordinates of your original figure by the scale factor. So if it's centered at the origin, it's Pretty simple. Uh, let's go ahead and find the coordinates of our endpoints here. We have the point 1, 5 on the left. And we have the point uh, 4, 4 on the right. All right. So if we want to make this dilation, we just multiply by the scale factor, which is 3. So 1 times 3 is 3. And 5 times 3 is 15. So our left endpoint is going to be at the point 3, 15. So 3 and 15. Oops, right there. OK. And our right endpoint is going to be 4 times 3 is 12, and 4 times 3 is 12. So this is at the point 12, 12. So that would be right there. And then we would just connect the dots. And there is our dilation. Again, if you think about this as starting at the origin and projecting out, you can um, draw lines in here. And if your scale factor was bigger, it would continue on to be somewhere out here. If it was smaller, it would be in here. Uh, but that's the basic principle behind a dilation.